the ICD HP handheld is a fantastic tool and makes life much easier for end users and contractors in a whole. And this it will show you how to set one up. Comes in a nice carry case with an auxiliary cable and then cup for detections on there. When attaching to a TTS sprinkler, all we need to do is sit where the module is stated and then we can actually see and talk wirelessly to the sprinkler's module. Once we've placed the cup on the sprinkler, for this we need to make sure that we do have power coming from the field. We can turn on the device, check the firmware version and then we get a list of menus. We can have decoder programming, decoder firmware, diagnostics and ICD HP setup. If we're going to decoder programming, we can actually look now to see if we can detect the module that's inside the sprinkler. There we go, we've picked up that it's a one station decoder with an output of one. We've got a station number that's already included and a serial number. We can also see the firmware version, uh, power factors in rush on there. Go back, we can program a decoder number. It's the one station there, we can change the power factors in rush if we need to. And then also in there, we can just go 472 and program. Once program is complete, we'll get the message and then we can even move on to another one or take a look at some further information and go down and look at decoder status. Are we powering the de uh, decoder from the ICDHB? No. We're powering it from the field. And then there we can see we've got normal status, one milliamp current, and the voltage that we have at the sprinkler there. We also have the output number and whether there's a solenoid connected and if the station is active or not, with a yes and no. We can upgrade the decoder firmware from this position and also look further into diagnostics. We can turn on and off the station. The Unit comes with a one meter cable so that we can stand clear of that whilst we test. Again, we can get the decoder status, which we've just seen, and brings up any valid information. This is all whilst the network is stains in its usual state. We don't have to put this in any wired test mode. The ICD can control and take a look at anything that he wants through there. Now we'll show the test function of how we can turn on and off a station while standing clear. We go to the turn station on function. We'll check for the decoder. Select it there and then literally we can press plus or minus to test the station. And then turn it off again. Quick and easy test to see whether it's, the station is active. If you have any issues there, it can quickly be tested. We can also pro program a brand new module that is yet to go out in the field. With no power uh, coming from the field, we can use the ICD. And we do this by connecting the red and blue wires with crocodile clips on the end. And we connect them to the field wire of the decoder module. Once this is done, we can use the cup and place it inside the module. And there. We can revert back to now our handheld for programming. Program a decoder. Checking, selected that with the power factors. And now I can go zero, one zero, and program. There we go, program completed and then we can go and fit that out in the field and it's ready to go once we have power resumed. <laughs>